Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Today we're going to work on number 103 on the FTC Elementary K-6 through Practice Test. This is a great problem if you're an elementary school teacher, not just in Florida, you could be an elementary school teacher in another state like Massachusetts or Texas or California, preparing for your teacher certification exam. What I want you to do is um, you can pause me now or at some point uh, pause me and read over the question to yourself. So you can see the structure of this problem. Make sure you under you get familiar with the structure in which this uh, question is presented. And we're also going to work on a strategy to solve problems like this. All right, so so let's start. A really good number sense and operation uh, problem. It goes like this: A school bus driver is is examining her route. The distance from Carmen's house to Mike's house is three miles. The distance from Mike's house to the school is two miles. Which of the following statements are true? So, and then it gives us these options. Statement number one, the greatest possible distance between Carmen's house and the school is five miles. Two, the greatest possible distance between Carmen's house and the school is six miles. Three, the shortest possible distance from Carmen's house to the school is one mile. And four, the shortest possible distance from Carmen's house to the school is two miles. Now read it to yourself. Read it to yourself, and then we'll, we'll talk about how to solve it. With a problem like this, the way to go is to create a model of the information. Now, we're told that when we're doing, we have Carmen's house here and Mike's house here, this distance to start off is three, three miles. Now, all we're told about the schools, the school is two miles away from Mike's house. So technically speaking, here, let me uh, put some values here. The school could be here, because this is two miles away. Or the school could be in the other direction, which is here, two miles away from Mike's house. Both of these are two miles away. Now, the model drawing has helped me place information. It's helped me place information on my, um, uh, it helps me place information from the problem. I did it on a model drawing, so now that I can, I can interpret each one of these scenarios and see which two are true. For example, the greatest possible distance between Carmen's house and the school is five miles. And if that would be true here, because look, one, two, three, here's our three miles, and if the school was out in this direction, four, five, it would be five miles. The model drawing has helped me get to uh, determine that a uh, that number one works. So if I know number one works, I could eliminate these two choices. So there's a fork in the road that's helped me um, el eliminate at least two of the choices and increase my probability of getting this problem correct by 50%. All right. So now I have to determine is three or four correct. Well, this one looks like this. The shortest possible distance between Carmen's house and the school is one mile. Well, if we consider the school in between Carmen and Mike's house at this point here, then it makes sense that the shortest distance is one mile. And therefore, you know, uh, three works. So the answer here would be that uh, A, statements one and three both work. Okay, team, this is a problem that I want you to be familiar with, the structure of it, so that you could... First, create a model drawing that uh, represents the information given. And then you can find the two statements that um, make the most sense. You can use a fork strategy, um, observing that you're either looking, one of them is going to be greater than, one of them is going to be shorter than. And if you can eliminate um, one of the choices, like we did with C and D, you know, you eliminate the two as being false, that saves you a lot of time um, and will help increase your chances of getting um, the correct answer. All right. So whenever you see a fork in the road with these problems, always know that if you can eliminate one of those choices, you'll be able to actually eliminate two of the answers, and you'll be down to just the remaining two. You really increase your chances of getting a problem like this correct. Okay, team, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Um, check out the GoMath workshops. We're holding FTC math workshops in Florida, as well as MTEL math, science, and English, and history uh, teacher certification uh, workshops in Massachusetts. You can go to the website and find out more about those. Um, 
or you can uh, contact GoMath uh, through this video. All right, team, have a great day. Take care. Bye bye. Hi team, I want to encourage all teachers that need some extra help on the math to check out one of the Go Math workshops. We're holding them in Massachusetts and in Florida to help teachers uh, get ready for the teacher certification exams. Check it out. I'm sure you'll find it very helpful.